Hampshire Sheen, fanatical about finishing, two minute tutorial series. Microcrystalline wax. Step one, sand your work. We recommend 400 grit, but you can go finer if you wish to. Wipe away the dust in between the grits. Step two, use some methylated spirits, denatured alcohol, to clean the grain as much as possible. You could also use compressed air. Step 3. With the lathe stationary, apply your sanding sealer. We are using our own cellulose sealer on this piece of sycamore. Step 4. When dry, use a non-abrasive pad like the grey 3M Scotch-Brite pad to denib the surface. You could also use the shavings from the piece. After denibbing, you could use a piece of paper towel to burnish the surface, or the shavings. Step 5. With the lathe stationary, apply enough of the microcrystalline wax to just cover the surface. Step 6. Apply a second light coat straight over the first one. There's no need to buff yet. If required, apply more coats after buffing. Step 7. With the lathe running, use a piece of paper towel to lightly buff the surface to a lovely fingerprint resistant finish. Buffing is a process for polishing a surface, it is not burnishing. Step 8. Step back and admire your work. The piece is now safe to remove from the lathe. To use microcrystalline wax as an overcoat, mount the piece to the lathe and clean any dust off the surface. With the lathe stationary, apply enough microcrystalline wax to lightly cover the surface. Buff the piece, remembering that you are polishing it rather than burnishing it. With the lathe stationary, apply additional coats if required, remembering to keep the coats light. Start the lathe and give the piece a final buffing before stepping back to admire your work. Find stockists, information and exclusive user content at hampshasheen.com. Stay safe, always read product labels and wear appropriate PPE if required. Thank you for watching.